Hey guys, Professor Latimer here, the CC mom who loves science, and today I want to bring you CC Cycle 1, Week 23, Hands-On Science Experiment, which is Rock Structure Identification. So we spent the last two weeks looking at minerals and identifying them and doing the different tests on them, the streak tests, the checking their luster and, and all of that and how to identify them. So today we're going to look at rocks. So the first question you might ask them, what is the difference between a mineral and a rock? And see what they come up with. And a rock is a, a substance that's made up of more than two, two or more minerals. So a mineral is, is kind of, it's pure, you know, it's made up of atoms, chemicals that kind of form a crystalline shape. And so a rock is when two or more of those minerals are kind of fused together and that's what makes a rock. Sometimes there's a whole bunch of minerals inside of a rock, sometimes it's just a couple, but that's the main difference between rocks. So then it, you can go into some review of, okay, where do we find rocks? What layer of the geosphere do we find those in? So we have our core mantle in our crust, so most of our rocks are found in the crust. And then we have that layer between um, the mantle and the crust that has the magma in it, which is the liquid rock. And we learned in some previous experiments that, that when the magma comes up to the surface of the earth, that liquid rock comes up and then it cools, it turns into igneous rock. So you can review what are the three types of rock, the sedimentary, metamorphic, and igneous. So for this, experiment today this project we're going to be looking at different types of rocks and see if we can identify them so we're going to see if they're sedimentary metamorphic or igneous and i recommend having nicole liam's uh, document for week 23 she just has a good explanation of um, some definitions of the different types of rocks so you could go over that before they look at the rocks um, and then she has a, we'll talk about the rock cycle here in a minute. So she has a diagram of that. And she also has, if you want, um, kind of a blank sheet where you can uh, mark down, okay, what's the name of your rock? What type of rock is it? Igneous, metamorphic, or sedimentary? And then just make a note of what does it look or feel like. So you can fill out something like this or you could just talk about it. You know, here's a rock. What type of rock is it? And what does it look like? And what does it feel like? So I'll go over. So a sedimentary rock is made up of sediment, which are like little tiny pieces of rocks that have been broken off and they're kind of deposited in layers. So with layers of these sediments and they kind of get fused together to make a rock. So uh, a lot of times you'll see that, um, I don't know, if you drive like on the highway and, and you see like, side of the hill kind of where they kind of dug to make the road through you'll see all these layers so that's kind of like those sediments in those layers and they kind of fused to make a sedimentary rock so over time those rocks if they're heavy enough or dense enough they'll kind of make their way down into deeper into the surface of the crust and as they get closer to that layer of magma where that melted rock is they're kind of deep in the crust, so there's a lot of pressure pushing down on those sedimentary rocks, and there's a lot of heat coming up from that magma. So that heat and that pressure changes the rock. So metamorphic, that means it's it's change. Metamorphic is change. So it changes its shape. It can even change the type of mineral it is just because of that pressure and that heat. Um, it can often look crystalline when it when it forms and it can look kind of squashed together because that's kind of what's happening with that pressure and then so if that metamorphic rock if it sinks down lower into the level into the into the magma layer it will melt and then um when there's like earthquakes or shifting of the plates of the crust that magma because of the pressure will want to come back up to the surface and become lava and when that lava cools it becomes igneous rock 
and you'll get different textures, different, um, sometimes it'll look glassy, sometimes it'll look really rough, depending on how quickly it cools, but that becomes igneous rock. So um, that's one, I guess I'm kind of describing the rocks, the rock cycle a bit. So we, we have the sedimentary kind of towards the surface and it makes its way down and can become metamorphic rock. And so that sedimentary rock changes into metamorphic rock. And then it can, if it sinks down into the magma, it becomes igneous rock when it goes back up to the surface and cools. And then over time, you know, once it's on the surface, there's weathering, there's wind and water that can chip away pieces of that igneous rock and make a sediment. So then you have another layer of sediment, so that igneous rock can change back into a sedimentary rock eventually. So it's, it's a cycle and just kind of talk about that. So a rock doesn't stay the same forever necessarily. It can, it can change and it can go through a cycle. Like we have a water cycle, well rocks have a cycle too. So that is kind of describing the different types of rocks and the cycle that they go through. And then you're gonna take some time to, um, you'll take a rock kit our campus is using the Cornerstone uh, Rock Kit. So we have 16 types of rock. And before you start, I recommend tutors taking a picture of where the different types of rocks go. They're, they're labeled in the box, but some of them look very similar. So just to kind of help yourselves figure out where they all go. I would take a picture like with your phone of you know what where each one goes and so you can have we're not doing tests this week with the rocks so it'll be a little bit easier we're we're observing you can have the students have a magnifying glass that would be helpful um, you could have them in pairs and you could have each pair I, we have enough rocks here to where um, each student should get the chance to to pick one they want to look at but they can observe in, in pairs and they'll just take a look at um, each type of rock and we'll see if we can identify them and what type of rock they are. So I made a key that I will uh, post a link to in the description. So it I have the names of all the rocks in our kit and then whether it's igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. Um, the coleum also um, has some examples of different kinds of rock, but we didn't have all those types in our kit and we had some extras. So, um, but she also lists um, some examples of each type of rock. So if you don't have a cornerstone kit, but you may have some of these um, rocks, you'll know what type they are. She, she's helped us out a lot with that. So um, just have the students, you know, this is marble and take a look at what does it look like? And you could kind of see um, on our on our answer sheet, marble is a metamorphic rock. And so if you can look at it, it does it it has like these shiny like crystal crystalline features in it. And so that is a result of that pressure and that heat. It's like the atoms kind of rearrange themselves into those crystalline um, structures because that's where crystals form, right? Crystals form deep in in the crust because of the heat and the pressure and those atoms arrange themselves in a crystal shape so you'll see uh kind of so crystal shapes in that so that one is a pretty easy one to identify uh here is sandstone you'll kind of be able to see some layers on this side you'll be able to see there's some layers so those are those layers of sediment that can give you some clues um this is obsidian so it's very shiny. So that is a clue that, you know, because sometimes igneous rock can be really glassy. Um, this is another type of igneous rock. This is pumice, pumice. I'm not sure of my pronunciation. But this is a, another type of igneous rock that comes from lava. And something I noticed about this just now is it's really light. It's not as dense or heavy. So that's something we can observe about it. Um, this limestone one is really interesting. The limestone is a sedimentary, so you can kind of see it kind of looks like there's just different layers kind of fused together. 
So you can have them in pairs or you can give each student um, a, a rock and you know, if you have time, let them look at a couple different types of rock and just have fun observing them. And you as the tutor will have an answer key of what each type of rock is. So see if you can identify the types of rock and um, that will be it for CC Cycle 1, Week 23. So we're almost done. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.